My name is Tim Duty. I'm from Araby, Louisiana. I was the former president of the Southeast Louisiana Flood Protection Authority East, appointed first right after Katrina by Governor Kathleen Blanco, and then the second time I was appointed was by Governor Bobby Jindal. The Southeast Louisiana Flood Protection Authority East is the board that governs three distinct levee districts, the East Jeff Levee District, the Orleans Levee District, and the Lake Bourne Basin Levee District, which is St. Bernard's Levee District. And they act as a common board and make all the decisions and are responsible for all the decisions of what those three independent levee districts do. The Southeast Louisiana Flood Protection Authority East was created post-Katrina so parishes could join forces and have better storm protection amongst one another. The authority was tasked with two responsibilities, operating and maintaining a perimeter levee system, as well as a drainage portion. The organization is funded by a property tax, also referred to as a millage. While most flood authorities charge an equal millage per parish, the Southeast Louisiana Flood Protection Authority East charges disproportionate millages, with St. Bernard Parish taking the biggest hit. We have about 5% of the property value in this region. We have about 5% of the population in this region. We should be paying about 5% of the cost of the levy system that protects that region. 5% of the cost represents somewhere between $800,000 and a million dollars. What the Southeast Levy Protection Authority East is um, saying is that they want all of the three and a half million dollars that we pay in here in St. Bernard Parish to go to funding the levy system. That is 100% unacceptable to this administration. What they're tr attempting to do is charge St. Bernard effectively eight mills in property tax to operate and maintain this system, while Orleans and Jefferson Parish will pay roughly 2.3 mills each. And that's just an unfair allocation of expense. It doesn't work that way in any other levy district. They don't charge one parish more than the other because they have more miles of levy. They, nobody else does it this way, no one. I think it's important for people to understand that the state of Louisiana, through a vote, statewide voted to regionalize the system in southeast Louisiana. We have a flood authority right now that's not acting like a regional authority. They, they have the authority in three separate parishes and they're funding it like three separate parishes. The three districts together collect about 60 million dollars in taxes. They have about 170 million in the bank. In order to operate and maintain the system, each year cost about 17 million and they want us in St. Bernard to pay an additional 2.1 million in taxes, that, that's ridiculous. We are paying our fair share. In fact, we're paying more than our fair share. If, this, if the costs are spread equally between all of the levy districts that are surrounded by the system, we would pay no more than three, per, three mills, roughly. Due to the millage dispute, the Flood Authority has passed a resolution to turn over all drainage responsibilities to St. Bernard Parish. The Southeast Levy Protection Authority do, do, no longer wants to operate drainage in St. Bernard Parish, but they want to collect the taxes that we're paying in for drainage in St. Bernard Parish. They want to take our citizens' taxes and fund the levy system in St. Bernard Parish. The levy system is funded by a constitutional millage. It's about 3.8 mills. It brings in about a million dollars or so. But they want to take the additional two and a half million or so and apply that to the levies in St. Bernard Parish. We feel that that money should be spent on our drainage in St. Bernard Parish. If they were willing to give us those millages, we would gladly take over the drainage system in St. Bernard Parish. And we would do a whole lot better job than they do. If you drive around the parish and you look in any of the major, major drainage canals, not the ones that are maintained by the parish, but the ones that are maintained by this board. They're overgrown with trees. They got willow trees in them, all sorts of debris, which hinders the flow of water and puts all of us at jeopardy of flooding. Okay, right now we're on Thelma and, and Santa V. And we're looking at the uh, 20 off and drainage canal. And the 20 off and drainage canal, we actually installed 10 new bridge crossings um, from Golden Drive to Volpe Drive. And the bridge cross is actually, it, it helps us with the uh, increase of the flow of the, the drainage canals. But when you have a lack of maintenance on the vegetation that's growing in the center of the canals, it actually restricts the flow of the drainage. 
and and I think it's uh, part of that reason is that it's, it's a lack of manpower right now with the uh, Lake Bourne Basin Levee District. Um, and we're, we're trying to do everything we can possibly do to help them out. Um, but it's, it's, they have 60 miles, around 60 miles of drainage canal that they actually maintain in, in Lake Bourne Levee District. And we actually have right about equal to that. We have in St. Bernard Parish government, we have uh, about 60 miles of drainage canals that we maintain. So it's kind of hard for, for us to, to do 120 miles of drainage canal in Paris government on the funds that we have coming in. So we, we try, we try to hit problems as they come up. Um, I know it's never as quick as the public likes, but bottom line is it, it, it belongs to the flood authority and they are, they're getting money, taxpayer money to maintain, and they're not. I think we got a price just to start was 1.5 million to go in and cut the grass on all of the levee boards canals from a contractor, and that's only six times a year that we all know no one would be happy with. They want to give us 1.2 million, which is not enough to maintain. Canals alone were 1.5 just to cut grass. Um, the pump stations, we came up with a price of about 600,000 just to man the stations. That's no maintenance. Um, if we received the proper funding, I truly believe we would do a better job than what they're doing. This is the Fardy Alton Canal. It's, it's uh, listed as pump station number four, which is actually directly behind the Angelica State Subdivision in Violet. This is actually the wells that actually collects all of the trash. It's called trash rakes. As the water comes down the canal, which is full of vegetation right now, which shouldn't be there. We shouldn't have any vegetation at all in this area. Um, and when the water comes to the pump station, all of the debris and the trash that, that people actually threw into the canals, the stuff that's fallen into the canals, it all comes to, these, to this rake system. And if you, if you look at this rake system as we walking down this way, you can see that they, they rusted out, they corroded. The, the, the chains on the top, on the sprockets, the chains is all solid. They're about to jump off. Uh, there's one over there that's off the sprocket, down on the other end. If you, uh, if you look down up in there, you can see that that piece that's on the angle over there, that's, uh, that actually should be going across. That picks up all the trash and the debris that comes in with the, with the high waters. And the inside of that is the pump well. And what happens when you get a lot of this trash that builds up in the front of the trash rakes, front of the screens, you don't get enough water in the inside the well, then the pump starts cavitating. And then from there, you actually have, uh, you have to idle the pump down to where it can pump about maybe half of the capacity instead of full capacity. If you look at this sprocket over here, take a good look at this one, how the chain actually jumped off because of the stiffness and corrosion and and aware that's on these chains. This whole system right here needs to be replaced. The system right here would probably cost about about one point about one point two million to replace this entire system right here. The condition that the stations are in themselves, we, we did an estimate of about five million. That's barely scratching the surface of getting into the roots of what's wrong, because one set of rakes is over a million dollars. The pumps themselves, five hundred to a million a piece. So us taking it over in the condition it's in based on the 1.2 or 1.5 they want to give us, million they want to give us, would, would, would start off in the negative. This is actually the pump that goes down into the well that's attached to the engine. That's the engine, and that engine is from way back in the 60s. So this engine, in, in, it's still in operation. That's one of the older engines right next to us that we actually took out and put a brand new one in. It, it, it takes a lot of manpower on these old engines. The pump operator also has to come up here and has to read all of these gauges. You can see that there's a set of gauges up here. The pump operator has to read all of these gauges. And if you look at this engine, it, 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 it's almost as old as the dinosaurs. You don't have engines anymore that you actually have to sit up here with a squirt can and all the top of these engines. And if you look back in the corner over there, you're gonna see he has his all bucket he has a squirt can, it's five gallons of oil. Um, and as you can see, is that, I mean, it, these engines are very, very old. I think CIFLA can use the three and a half million or four million, whatever they're getting out of millage um, to maintain the levees and the pump stations. But we got to get some relief from other parishes on the federal protection levy that's costing the residents so much. Um, it protects. It's the first line of defense for all major cities, for all the other major cities, Jefferson, New Orleans. But we're taking the, we're taking the hit on the, 
on paying the most, right? We will fairly pay into the levy system and take whatever's left and provide the drainage to the drainage system, maintenance and operation to the citizens of St. Bernard Parish. That's what we want to do. But we can't allow a board to take one penny more than our fair share. They are treating, we only have 5% of the property value in the district, but we provide 100% of their protection. You take the wall down here in St. Bernard Parish, you'll lose the city of New Orleans. you lose the flood protection, you lose flood insurance. So we either have to act as three separate districts like we did before the storm, or we have to um, move forward and, and protect all three parishes with one system. I, I'm hoping that there is a peaceful and a fair and equitable resolution and it only requires some willingness on the part of the board to treat us equally and fairly and to really just look at how other levy districts operate throughout the state. They, they can take that as an example of how we should be treated down here. We should pay the same millage rate to operate and maintain the system as those taxpayers pay in Orleans and as those in Jefferson Parish pay. Everybody should be paying the same rate. Everyone protected by the system should be paying the same millage rate. You know, my hope in the end is that we all find a solution to this without going to courts, without having the district attorney's office involved, without having the attorney general of the state of Louisiana involved, that we, we can all come together, rational minds, to solve a problem, and that we can move forward in protecting the citizens of our region like they deserve. The citizens of St. Bernard Parish can be assured that we are working behind the scenes on, in their, for their benefit to make sure that we are treated the right way within our region. We're not the stepchild of this region. We're one of the most important flood protection pieces of land that protects the whole region right here in St. Bernard Parish. And we're going to make sure that we're respected and um, treated the right way at the end of this process. But I want to assure the citizens of St. Bernard Parish, if you don't see me in the media, it's not because we're not fighting on your behalf. We're doing the right thing behind the scenes that means something. That's all we want is fairness, you know, in St. Bernard Parish. And we cannot allow um, this to happen to us. So we're going to fight vigorously over our little portion of the world here and our little three and a half million dollars that we collect and we're going to make sure that we get as much of that as that is fair so that we can provide the services that the citizens of St. Bernard Parish deserve.